In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Church, for generations it was known and still is known as the Eucharist Assembly. You read in the book of Acts chapter 3, Saint Peter and Saint John, as customary, as usual, they were going to the temple, the Jewish temple. For what? For hearing God's word read and prayers and all these things, but that was Saturday. And Sunday morning, these new Christians, these followers of Christ gathered together separately. They sat in circle. Right in the middle was the altar table. There on the table was the wine and the bread. Where the bishop or the priest would pray and consecrate it and then distribute it and give it to the people and they receive it. This is the reason they gathered for worship. This reason why as a metropolitan I tell all my episcopas and all the priests the most important thing for the Holy Church is not preaching and teaching, while that is important, that is very important, because we, we gather together because God said, come, gather unto me. And then we read and hear God's word read, because he said, hear me, learn from me. But thirdly, then we have the Eucharist, the real partaking of the real presence of Christ's life. Then finally, we go out to tell the world of the joy of knowing the living God in our life. Through our actions, through our words, through our deeds, through our kindness and love and our testimony. So you see, the beauty of being part of the Holy Church, the authentic church. I mean, there's lots of people call themselves churches. And please believe me, I'm not criticizing other people, but I'm telling you, you are privileged and blessed to be part of the Holy Church. And we are not the only church that follows in the footsteps of the apostles and the saints of old, but we are one of those. And may the Lord bless you as you continue to worship the Lord in his holy church. The Lord bless you.